Starting with Vado SL2, e-bikes with new Mastermind displays require pre-activation and a complete handover process before sale. Out of the box, the e-system is in turtle mode. There is no motor support for pedal assist. Update the firmware using Turbo Studio. A new option, Quick Test, appears in Turbo Studio, enabling motor support up to two hours for a post-build test ride. After Quick Test, the display returns to the QR code with no motor support. If a rider scans the QR code on the sales floor, it takes them to the App Store to download the specialized app. Test mode is a new setting enabling motor support so riders can test ride, demo, or rent specialized e-bikes. Also new is connecting using the specialized app instead of Turbo Studio to enable test mode and perform the handover process. This requires employees to have a B2B user account and use the same email to log into the specialized app. Select test mode to choose the number of days it has full motor support. The display will show normal data with time remaining in test mode. The rider can use their device to connect via the specialized app with limited access to features, no system lock, no registration, no activation. With under two hours remaining, the display flashes a yellow notification every 15 minutes. Once test mode time elapses, full motor support remains until the e-bike is turned off. When powered on again, it returns to the pre-activation state. No motor support and a QR code on the display. Specialized e-bikes must go through the handover process before rider activation. Using the specialized app makes it faster and easier for staff and riders. Simply connect to the bike, select handover, and follow the checklist. At the end of the handover, schedule the rider's service reminders. Service intervals populates two reminders inspection check, and annual service. With the handover complete, tell the rider to use their mobile device to activate the e-bike with the specialized app.